Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Mini Metro. So this is from the same guys that brought us Mini Motorways. It's an earlier game and it was one that was on my list for ages but then Mini Motorways came out and obviously being a highway designer in real life I prioritized that one. But let's try ourselves at making an underground metro system. So we start off looking down at our empty tube map. We've got a river flowing through the middle and we've got three shapes but these are just not any old shapes. These are tube stations. So we've got the circle, the square and the triangle. Now, obviously, being an engineer, the triangle is by far the superior tube destination. But for now, I'm going to treat all destinations as equal. All right, so if we look down at this destination, you can see there's a square appeared. This is a passenger. So basically, this little square has walked along the road here, gone down the stairs into the underground station. He's walked to the platform and he's been like, Oi, I want to get to square. <laughs> uh, where's the next train? And I'm like, sorry, mate, I haven't even built the line yet. But uh, that's where my handy mouse button comes in. So if we keep this bottom thing locked up. You can see we've got three different colours at the moment to play with uh, and a few other things. So as with mini motorways we literally just draw a line to the square. And now you can see our square has boarded the train and now arrived at its destination and we've got one point. So now you can see a triangle passenger has decided to get to the circle station and again he wants to go to the triangle destination but if you look at our yellow line it only goes to the square. So we've got two choices. We can either extend our yellow line to the triangle or we can build a separate line. One other thing to be aware of here is there is a river in the way, which means we're going to have to use a tunnel to get under it, which kind of makes me think maybe they're not underground trains because they would already be in tunnels. But that's not the point. The point is we've only got three tunnels, so we can only cross this river three times at the moment. So I'm going to grab this little T-bar thing and we're going to extend it to the triangle. So now this train can go back and forth. And you idiot train... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? You didn't pick up the triangle passenger, you just went straight there. Anyway, right, I'm also going to extend this one because we have a square passenger waiting there and a triangle. So this is now a nice little U-shaped line if you rotate it. And it should just pick up the passengers required back and forth. Now we've got a new station appear on the left, a triangle. There's no passengers for it yet, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Right, so now these two stations need a circle, so I'm going to make a new line. This is going to be red. So essentially, I'm just, as long as these two stations just keep picking up circles, I think this is fine for now. Any shape at this station can be created with the yellow line. All right, we've got another triangle there. So I am going to extend this line once more. So we'll pick up all three triangles and they will just drive all the way. Oh, we'll pick up another triangle and they'll drive all the way to the triangle station and drop them off. Nice. So it's the end of week two. I don't know what happened to week one. I don't know if I missed that or <laughs> what happened. <laughs> Uh, but as with mini motorways, we get upgrades. So we get a new locomotive for your metro. So essentially that just allows us to put an extra train on any of our lines. Very useful. And then we also get to pick one. So we can add a new line color or we can add a carriage. And a carriage just makes your capacity of one train bigger. All right, I'm going to go with line because I feel like that will probably be more useful. I haven't actually played this game at all yet. I did the tutorial just quickly. Uh, it was like two minutes long. So this is actually further than I've been in the game. Uh, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll do fine. I think everything's going all right. We're taking a square to the square. Lovely. All right, we've got another triangle there. I am thinking, is it worth just extending that and then putting another locomotive on? So if we bung him in, he'll pick up the triangle. Look at all those triangles in that train. Yes. Five of them, lovely. Look at the score rack up now. Uh, right, so we've got a square and a triangle required here. So what I'm thinking is maybe we could do that sort of thing. It's one of each shape, so that should be fine. Uh, but this one down here is a bit tricky. If we just pause for a second, if we were to extend our red line, this square passenger has nowhere to go on that line. I don't think they swap stations. Maybe we can actually just test that now. So I'm wondering will the square from this bottom station get on board the train and then get off at this station? Probably not. I assume the squares will just rack up there. All right. Oh, they're all on board. They are all on board. Do the squares get off here? No, they're just all on board. Oh, they got off that one because there's a square there. Oh, okay. And now they got... Ah, oh, okay. So it is quite a sensible game. Cool. Right, I'm just going to connect this yellow up to there, just make it a little bit further. Like our yellow line sort of our main line. It's got all the shapes, uh, but it hasn't got all the shapes. Because if you look over here, we've just spawned a pentagon. So we're going to have to keep an eye on all of our stations and see if any of them are pentagons. I don't know exactly how the passenger spawning works, whether they are just new shapes. Yeah, so if you look at this yellow one, we do now have a pentagon. So I might extend this red. Ah, and it's the end of week three. 
Uh, we got a new locomotive, so that's very useful. Thank you, game. And then we can pick between a new line color or two tunnels. Now, I do already have a tunnel, but I feel like as the map expands, tunnels will be more useful. Yeah, because looking at this map, I'm pretty sure we're in London. I've watched enough intros to EastEnders to know what the Thames looks like from above. Do, 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 uh, if you're not British, you're probably not going to get that reference. Just ignore me. <laughs> it's a terrible soap. Uh, right, so I'm actually thinking of doing a bit of jiggery pokery here. I'm going to take this yellow away and I'm going to send it that way to pick up this passenger. And then I'm going to extend this blue one, go through there. So our blue line has got a bit longer. We've still got a light blue one ready, which I quite like. Bit of safety. Again, I'm going to have to play a few more games to sort of work out good strategies. But uh, we're up to 150 points, which ain't too bad, I don't think. I'll just extend this dark blue one down to the square because we do have some squares on board. That is a very full train now. Luckily, they're all exiting. So yeah, we got three spaces and there the squares will get off. So looking fine. Up this end though, we've got <laughs> quite a lot of passengers. I wonder if it'd be worth, because the line's so long, adding an extra locomotive. I think I will for now. I may as well use my upgrades. All right, we've got another triangle here and that wants a circle. I wonder, would it be worth trying to connect in a new color those two then that's just triangles to circles all the way right so it's week four we've got another locomotive lovely jubbly and then we can pick between tunnels or a carriage and i tell you what i might see how the carriages work i have no idea i assume i just hang on, let's pause i assume, do i just drag it onto yeah i think i just drag it onto a line so i think we'll, we'll leave it for now but when if we see journeys proper racking up we'll do that Where's my light blue? Hang on, did did my light blue not come with a... Hang on, what's going on? <laughs> my light blue didn't come with a train. Do I actually need to put a train on there? Oh wow, that's sneaky. I assumed every line had a train, but it doesn't. All right, let's extend the yellow that way and maybe cross the river and go down to there. It's a long way to the square station is my only concern. So I feel like you sort of want the different shapes almost alternating. Oh god, and we've got a new shape. We've unlocked the teardrop. I think it's probably like a quarter circle. But uh, we're going to call it teardrop. And we'll extend the blue up to it as well. Right, yellow seems to be struggling. So I am going to increase the capacity by using this. So this train now, you can see it's got two carriages. You can pick up all the people. Which is quite useful if any squares get on this end. <laughs> I'm not being offensive. Like... <laughs> Damn squares, they're such squares. I mean actual square passengers. If they get on at this end of the line, they should be able to go all the way to the square station without causing too much of a ruckus. Uh, right, so as we got Pentagon, I might extend the red over to there. It's quite far, but uh, it is what it is. I'm also going to extend this light blue to that circle with a triangle passenger waiting. Right, and it's now week five. Thankfully, we've got another locomotive. Definitely need them. And oh, look at this. There's a new sort of upgrade. An interchange. Improve a station's capacity and transfer speed. Well, that could be very useful, particularly at the ends of lines, maybe? Like, if we look at this red one at the end, the capacity is getting pretty dangerous. But maybe that's more of a save for emergencies type thing. Because I think, like mini motorways, once a station has passengers waiting for too long, then you start to get a timer. All right, we've got a plus up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete that line and bring it through the plus. So it is an extra journey, but uh, what are you going to do? I also feel like it might be worth this blue taking it through this triangle because there's a lot of circles there. And that's just a quick access to another circle line. Now this, this red is not looking good. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of passengers out there already. And I'm going to make the line even longer, which probably isn't sensible. Oh yeah, look, we got, we got a timer already. So let's pause. I'm actually thinking there's so many people there. Do I include that as part of the yellow line? Because what I could do, come through there and around. And then this red line, like make it shorter. There's no need to do parallel routes, I don't think. But that could be just slightly more efficient. I need to connect the bottom right as well. Yellow line is even longer. <laughs> uh, but technically we've got three trains on there because we've got this added capacity one. Uh, what I'm going to do about this square in the middle though, would it be worth this light blue going through there? Because now we've got three different shapes. I'll tell you what, maybe, maybe want to do that. So this square station becomes sort of a hub because I can see there's like a load of crosses on the yellow line and no real route to the cross other than 
getting off at square, going along the dark blue, getting off at triangle, going along the red line. That's a long way, but this is a nice little shortcut now. So we'll play like that for now. And yeah, so picking up some of those passengers with the timer. The timer is going down, thankfully. I think the timer goes down until it fills back up again. Oh, and if you saw that, we've got we got a timer on this and our yellow train was completely full. So it went straight past it. Thankfully, there is a yellow train on the way. It's the doubler as well. But look how many people are in there. <laughs> oh, no. Right. It's, it's, oh, it's week six. We've got another train. Thank goodness. We can add another line. Or do we just want a carriage? I don't know what's best. I think we'll do another line. We've got two trains. So, yeah, we'll do another line. I feel that would be useful. Let, let's see this double train. Will it reduce number? Oh, yeah. Loads of people got on there. It's still filling up pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, now there's a timer down there as well. Right. I think it's time to sort of delete some stuff and think about solutions. Let's press pause. So I feel like the trouble is this yellow line is a bit too long. Like if we were to shorten this end, maybe to there, and then we can do another line down this end. And we've got a train on this one, so the train, it will just take all these people to this station where they'll transfer onto the yellow line. Which remember, it has it has three carriages on. Or does it not anymore? What's happened to my other yellow train? Did I accidentally delete it? Oh no, there it is. They're on top of each other. And then what we'll do, we'll make this station a big one. Look at that. So now that should hold more people all coming off the green line. Yeah, so the only shapes that will actually wait here will be shapes that aren't triangles or circles. So I think squares will be the most common. But then some of these other random ones like the crosses and the teardrops. All right, dark blue will extend that way and red extend that way. I think the green has helped. I saw sort of thinking maybe I should have upgraded this station though, rather than that one. Don't think there's a way to reverse the upgrades in this, unfortunately. Uh, but we've just cracked 700 journeys made, which sounds like a lot. Whether it is, I have no idea. Never looked at the leaderboards in this. Oh god, look how many pluses are on here. Maybe we need to extend our blue down to there. So they've got a direct journey. There's so many... Right, I'm going to add a train down to the light blue, I think. Because we, we've got to get rid of some of these people. Look how close it is. Phew, time going down. And it's week seven. We've got another train. Thank goodness. Uh, we've actually run out of tunnels. But while that might be useful, the green line really proved extra lines are useful. So I think I'm going to go for the line. I mean, ideally, I want to get around this light blue being a tunnel. I don't know if I can redraw it or anything. Yeah, oh, and hold up. Did that station just change from another shape into a star? I swear there wasn't a star there before. So that's something else we need to be aware of. The shapes do change over time. Sneaky game, sneaky. All right, this middle station, bit of a nightmare. A load of squares are on this double train though, so that should start reducing numbers. All right, here we go. There's a, there's a blue. As soon as it drops this circle off, it's got a plus, and then it should pick up all of those pluses easily. Ready, ready. Yes, the time's going down. Six pluses on board. Decent. Oh god, look at this dark blue one. It's not good. Uh, let's press pause. Right, I feel like I'm going to have to put another train in just to save the game. <laughs> or oh, could I put a line? Oh, let's see. Could I do a line first? If I did a line from there. We got triangles. Triangles are literally next to it. Squares down there. and plot. Yeah, I feel that is the best route. So I feel like just an extra train. Going in that direction, I feel like most people get on board that. I just did a little bit of jiggery pokery down this end just to get the extra station. I'm also going to extend the dark blue down to that station. Uh, now we'll press play and hopefully everyone will board this dark blue train and the time will go down. Oh, not for long though. Balls. Bollocks. That's game over. Oh, <laughs> we didn't crack a thousand. We lasted 47 days. Overcrowding at this station has forced your metro to close. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I'm glad they do it like that. It's not like Japan where they bloody push people on board. But yeah, essentially now no one can travel. And quite cool in this, you have the option to continue in endless mode and creative mode. But let's go back, see how we ranked. We're just about in the bottom half. <laughs> Terrible. So I think I definitely need a bit more practice at this. Anyway, guys, that was Mini Metro. If you enjoyed the game and you want to see more, please boost that like button. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and Metros. Bye.